Have you ever found yourself overwhelmed by your thoughts, as if they have a mind of their own? The Buddha once wisely noted, Rule your mind, or it will rule you. This profound statement captures the essence of our journey today. We're exploring how to stop your thoughts from controlling you. In our lives, our minds can often seem like unruly rulers, dictating our emotions and actions with an incessant stream of thoughts. But what if you could find the key to govern your mind's tumultuous realm? Today we delve into 13 Buddhist wisdom tips that offer not just insight, but practical methods to achieve mental tranquility and regain control over your thoughts. As we navigate through these ancient yet timeless strategies, you will learn to observe your thoughts without attachment, engage deeply with the present, and cultivate a serene mind. Each tip is a step towards not only understanding your thoughts, but also directing them in ways that enhance your inner peace and mental clarity. Imagine a life where your thoughts no longer sway your peace, but instead contribute to a balanced and harmonious existence. By the end of this video, you will have the tools to not just coexist with your thoughts, but to thrive amidst them, fostering a state where they aid rather than disrupt your well-being. Join me in this journey of self-discovery and empowerment, where we unlock the secrets to not being ruled by our thoughts, but instead ruling them with wisdom and grace. Remember, mastering your mind is not just about reducing the noise, it's about awakening to a more mindful and peaceful version of yourself. This is how to stop your thoughts from controlling you. Let's get started on this path together. The Nature of Thoughts in Buddhism In Buddhism, the nature of thoughts is not just a peripheral concern, it's central to understanding the mind itself. Zen teachings often illustrate the mind as a vast sky and thoughts as clouds drifting across it, temporary, transient, and without permanent substance. This analogy helps practitioners recognize that thoughts, much like clouds, come and go of their own accord and do not define the limitless expanse of the mind. From this perspective, Buddhism encourages a stance of observation rather than attachment. By observing your thoughts without getting entangled in them, you begin to see their fleeting nature. This practice, known as mindfulness, is a cornerstone of Buddhist teaching. Mindfulness allows you to remain present and aware, fostering inner peace and clarity. When we fixate on our thoughts, reacting to them as if they were solid and unchanging truths, we give them power over our emotions and behaviors. Zen practice, however, teaches us to view thoughts merely as phenomena that arise and pass away. As the revered Zen master Shunryu Suzuki wrote, leave your front door and your back door open, allow your thoughts to come and go, just don't serve them. This approach is rooted in the concept of non-attachment. Non-attachment doesn't mean being indifferent or unresponsive. Instead, it refers to the practice of not clinging to thoughts, emotions, or sensations as they arise. By cultivating non-attachment, we learn not to get entangled in the content of our thoughts, which often leads us away from the present moment and into realms of anxiety, regret, or fantasy. Understanding this, Buddhism offers a path to freedom through mindfulness and meditation. These practices help us develop the ability to observe our thoughts without getting caught up in their stories and dramas. Through meditation, we learn to recognize the space between thoughts and to rest in that space. As we practice, this space grows wider and our identification with thoughts diminishes. The mind becomes more like the sky, vast, clear and open, capable of holding clouds without being marred by them. This teaching is elegantly summed up in another quote from a Zen master who advised, think of what you see and hear without thinking. By training ourselves to experience life directly, without the overlay of mental commentary, we experience true liberation from the incessant chatter of the mind. Thus, 
The Zen Buddhist view of thoughts isn't about suppressing or eliminating them, but understanding their nature as impermanent and insubstantial. This insight liberates us from the tyranny of an uncontrolled mind and opens the way to wisdom and enlightenment. In learning these principles, we equip ourselves with the tools to live more fully in the moment, free from the relentless pull of our thoughts. Lesson 1. Mindfulness Meditation Mindfulness meditation is a foundational practice in Buddhism that helps cultivate awareness and non-attachment. By sitting quietly and focusing on your breath, you can begin to observe your thoughts as they arise and pass away without getting involved in them. This practice trains your mind to stay present and reduces the power thoughts have over you. This not only enhances your mental clarity, but also fosters a deeper sense of peace and well-being. Mindfulness meditation is deeply rooted in Buddhism's rich tradition of cultivating inner peace and awareness. This practice involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of your thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment through a gentle, nurturing lens. Typically, the technique requires participants to anchor their attention to a particular object of focus, often the breath as it naturally flows in and out of the body. The essence of mindfulness lies in observing without judgment. During meditation, the practitioner acknowledges thoughts without attaching or reacting to them emotionally. This simple act of noticing and letting thoughts pass is fundamental in developing a detached perspective. By doing so, one learns to view thoughts as separate from the self. Transient entities that do not define or control one's essence or state of being. Thich Nhat Hanh, a revered Buddhist monk, beautifully encapsulates this idea when he says, Mindfulness is the energy that helps us recognize the conditions of happiness that are already present in our lives. This quote underscores that mindfulness meditation isn't about removing thoughts, but rather recognizing them as part of the ebb and flow of our mental landscape. It teaches us to appreciate the present moment, free from the clutter of past regrets or future anxieties. Practicing mindfulness meditation regularly can profoundly impact how we relate to our thoughts. It cultivates a space between awareness and thought where our true self resides, untouched by the constant stream of mental noise. This space allows for a clearer understanding of how thoughts arise and fall, providing insight into the nature of our minds. Such insights are crucial for anyone seeking to reduce the overwhelming influence of negative thinking patterns. Moreover, mindfulness meditation enhances our ability to concentrate and stay present. As we get better at observing our thoughts, we become less distracted by them. This heightened focus can lead to increased productivity, better problem-solving abilities, and enhanced creativity. It also improves emotional resilience, equipping practitioners to handle stress and adversity with greater calm and acceptance. In essence, mindfulness meditation is not just a practice, but a way of living. It integrates the calm and clarity experienced during meditation into everyday activities, making each action more deliberate and meaningful. By fostering non-attachment to thoughts, it offers a liberating perspective. We are not our thoughts. We are the awareness that observes them. This realization is a powerful step towards inner peace and self-mastery, pivotal in the pursuit of a balanced and mindful life. Lesson 2. Focused Attention In our exploration of how to prevent thoughts from controlling us, we come to the practice of focused attention meditation, a fundamental technique in Buddhism. This form of meditation sharpens the mind by directing and sustaining attention on a single point of focus. Common focal points include the breath, a specific word or mantra, a visual object, or even the sensations of walking. The objective is to cultivate a deep state of concentration 
where all other thoughts are pushed to the periphery. Techniques for focused attention. One effective technique is to choose a simple and soothing focus like the breath. Sit in a quiet space and concentrate solely on the rhythm of your breathing, observing each inhale and exhale without trying to alter them. Each time your mind wanders, gently guide it back to your breath. This act of returning to your breath strengthens the mind's ability to focus. Another technique involves using a mantra, a word or phrase repeated silently. The repetition becomes the center of your attention, and as with the breathing method, you continually bring your focus back to the mantra whenever you notice your mind drifting. Visual concentration can also be highly effective. This might involve focusing on a candle flame or a simple image and maintaining steady, uninterrupted attention on the object. The practice of focused attention meditation has profound benefits, especially regarding the control and reduction of intrusive thoughts. By training the mind to focus on a single point, you minimize its tendency to jump from one thought to another, reducing the overall flow of unwanted or disruptive thoughts. This mental discipline enhances your ability to concentrate in everyday life, making you less prone to distractions and more present in your activities. Furthermore, as you gain control over your attention, you'll likely notice a decrease in anxiety levels. Intrusive thoughts often bring stress and emotional turbulence, so limiting these thoughts helps maintain emotional equilibrium. A focused mind is also better at coping with stress because it stays rooted in the present moment, not swayed by speculative worries or regrets about the past. In addition to these psychological benefits, Regular practice of focused attention can lead to deeper levels of overall mental clarity and peace. The ability to concentrate deeply can enhance cognitive functions such as memory and problem-solving skills, and even foster a greater sense of spiritual awareness. In summary, focused attention meditation is not merely an exercise in concentration, but a transformative practice that can refine the quality of both your mental and emotional landscapes. As you master this technique, you'll find yourself not only less troubled by intrusive thoughts, but also more adept at navigating the complexities of your internal world. Lesson 3. Engaging in Zazen. The Lesson 3 in our exploration of managing thoughts revolves around Zazen. Zazen is a cornerstone meditation practice in Buddhism, particularly within the Zen tradition. It goes beyond simple mindfulness. It's a profound discipline of being present and fully experiencing each moment without being swayed by passing thoughts. Zazen, which translates to sitting meditation, is viewed as a direct expression of Zen's essence. This practice involves sitting in a stable, comfortable position typically the lotus or half-lotus position, with a straight spine and relaxed yet attentive posture. The focus is on the breath, often counting each inhalation and exhalation to maintain concentration. During Zazen, thoughts will naturally arise. The practice encourages you to observe these thoughts without attachment, letting them pass by like clouds drifting across the sky. This non-attachment is key, as it helps you develop a deeper sense of presence and awareness, free from the distractions of transient thoughts. Regular practice of Zazen can lead to significant benefits, including increased emotional stability, enhanced concentration, and a greater sense of inner peace. It also fosters a deeper understanding of the self and the nature of reality, which is central to Zen teachings. By engaging in Zazen, you cultivate a state of mind that is calm, focused and resilient, capable of navigating life's challenges with greater ease and clarity. 
This practice not only helps in managing thoughts, but also in achieving a more balanced and harmonious state of being. Unlike other forms of meditation that might seek a particular state of mind, Zazen is primarily about observing whatever arises, thoughts, feelings, sensations, without attachment or judgment. This approach helps practitioners understand the transient nature of thoughts and recognize the fundamental emptiness of self. The simplicity of just sitting and observing the mind might sound easy, but it is an intense practice of discipline and awareness. The importance of Zazen in Zen cannot be overstated. It is through this practice that Zen practitioners aim to experience Kensho, or seeing one's true nature, a key insight in Zen Buddhism that reveals the non-duality of life. Regular Zazen is said to peel away the layers of delusion that cloud our self-understanding and perception of the universe. On a more practical level, Zazen offers numerous benefits such as enhanced focus, reduced stress and increased emotional resilience. Starting a Zazen practice can be a transformative endeavor. Here are some practical tips to get started. 1. Find a quiet, tranquil, clutter-free area where you can sit without interruptions. 2. Use a cushion or chair and sit with your legs crossed if possible, maintaining a straight yet relaxed posture. Rest your hands on your thighs or in the cosmic mudra, left hand on top of the right, palms up, with the tips of the thumbs gently touching. 3. Softly gaze at a point about a meter in front of you on the floor to minimize visual distractions. Focus on your breath, allowing it to flow naturally without trying to control it. Lesson 4. Embracing the simplicity and discipline of Zazen. Engaging in Zazen helps practitioners delve deeper into the nature of their thoughts and existence. It emphasizes the practice of just sitting, Shikantaza, which is a form of Zazen where there is no specific focus other than being completely present. Zazen cultivates self-awareness and presence. Zazen cultivates a profound level of self-awareness and presence, guiding practitioners toward understanding the interconnectedness of all things. This practice not only provides mental clarity, but also fosters a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. To further enhance your Zazen practice, set a regular schedule. Consistency is key. Try to practice Zazen at the same time each day to build a routine. Start with short sessions, begin with five to 10 minutes, and gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable with the practice. Be patient. Progress in Zazen takes time. It's normal to experience restlessness or frustration initially, but with regular practice these feelings will diminish. By committing to Zazen you embark on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth, peeling away the layers of illusion to reveal your true nature. This practice is not just about managing thoughts, but about transforming your entire approach to life, Cultivating a state of being that is balanced, aware, and deeply connected to the present moment. Let your breathing be natural and focus either on the movement of your abdomen or the air at your nostrils. When thoughts surface, simply note them and let them pass without engagement, returning your attention to your breath or posture. Handling thoughts during Zazen when thoughts arise during Zazen, the key is to acknowledge them without becoming involved. Simply observe them and then let them go, gently bringing your attention back to your breath or posture. This practice of non-attachment helps in maintaining focus and cultivating a calm mind. Begin with short sessions. Start with brief sessions of about 5 to 10 minutes and gradually extend the duration as your comfort increases. Consistency is key. Aim for daily practice to deepen the discipline and enhance its benefits. As Shunryu Suzuki, a renowned Zen master, puts it, the most important thing is to remember that all things are one thing and one thing is all things. 
Zazen teaches this interconnectedness and helps us see beyond the ebb and flow of thoughts, providing a gateway to a deeper understanding of life and our place within it. Engaging in Zazen not only helps in managing thoughts, but enriches the practitioner's life with profound spiritual insights and a lasting sense of inner peace. Lesson 5. Understanding Impermanence The Lesson 5 focuses on the concept of impermanence, a foundational principle in Buddhism that deeply influences how we understand and relate to our thoughts. Impermanence, or anika in Pali, refers to the idea that all conditioned phenomena are transient, inconstant, and in a continuous state of flux. Recognizing impermanence in managing thoughts. Recognizing the impermanence of mental phenomena is crucial. Our thoughts are fleeting by nature. They arise, exist for a moment, and then fade away. This continuous flow can often seem overwhelming, especially when we face persistent negative thoughts or anxiety. However, understanding that these thoughts are impermanent can help us detach from them and reduce their impact on our emotions and well-being. Embracing the transience of thoughts By acknowledging the transient nature of thoughts, we can cultivate a more balanced perspective. When negative or anxious thoughts arise, remind yourself that they are temporary and will pass. This mindset can prevent you from becoming overly entangled in them, allowing you to maintain a sense of calm and clarity. To apply this principle practically, 1. Observe. During meditation, make it a practice to note the coming and going of thoughts during meditation. Notice how they appear, linger briefly, and then disappear. 2. Use impermanence as a mantra. When caught in a cycle of negative thinking, silently remind yourself, this too shall pass. This simple phrase can help ground you in the present moment and reduce the power of negative thoughts. 3. Reflect daily. Take a few moments each day to reflect on the impermanence of all things, not just your thoughts. This broader perspective can enhance your overall understanding and acceptance of life's transient nature. Understanding and embracing impermanence provides a powerful tool for managing thoughts and emotions. It fosters a deeper sense of peace and resilience, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease. The awareness of impermanence helps us realize that no thought is permanent. Just as stormy weather doesn't last forever, no mental storm is eternal. This understanding can profoundly change our relationship with our thoughts. Instead of identifying with them or perceiving them as fixed parts of ourselves, we learn to see them as temporary and ever-changing. Observing thoughts with non-attachment. You can observe thoughts without becoming entangled in their narrative, knowing that they will soon pass. Moreover, the principle of impermanence teaches us not to hold on to thoughts. Clinging to thoughts, whether they are positive or negative, can lead to suffering because it goes against the natural law of change and transition. Letting go of thoughts and accepting that they come and go helps in reducing their intensity and impact on our emotional state. In practice, you can cultivate an awareness of impermanence in your daily meditation by noting the arising and passing of thoughts without attachment. Each time a thought surfaces, acknowledge it and let it go with the understanding that it is not permanent. This practice not only lessens the grip of persistent thoughts, but also enhances your overall mental flexibility and peace. The Buddha's Wisdom on Impermanence The Buddha himself emphasized the liberation that comes from understanding impermanence, stating, Develop a mind that is vast as the sky, where experiences both pleasant and unpleasant can appear and disappear without conflict, fear, or grasping. Embracing this perspective enables us to live more fully in the present moment, free from the burdens of past regrets and future anxieties, 
and reduces the overall turmoil caused by our thinking processes. Lesson 6. Walking Meditation Walking meditation is a powerful complement to seated meditation practice, offering a dynamic way to cultivate mindfulness and presence in motion. In walking meditation, each step becomes an opportunity to anchor your awareness in the present moment, bringing attention to the sensations of movement and the surrounding environment. How to practice Walking meditation 1. Find a quiet path. Choose a peaceful location where you can walk without distractions or interruptions. 2. Set your intention. Before you begin, set an intention to stay present and aware during the practice. 3. Start walking. Begin walking at a comfortable pace, paying attention to the sensations in your feet and legs as they move. You can synchronize your breath with your steps if it feels natural. 4. Stay present as you walk. Remain fully engaged in the experience, noticing the sights, sounds and sensations around you. If your mind starts to wander, gently guide your attention back to the physical sensations of walking. 5. End. Mindfully. When you reach the end of your walking path, take a moment to pause and reflect on your experience. Notice any shifts in your mental state or awareness that may have occurred during the practice. Walking meditation offers a refreshing way to integrate mindfulness into your daily life, allowing you to cultivate presence and awareness while moving through the world. It is a simple yet profound technique that aligns movement with awareness, turning an ordinary activity like walking into a practice of deep contemplation and presence. This form of meditation is particularly effective in the context of Buddhism, where mindfulness is extended to all activities, emphasizing that any action can be a form of meditation if done with full awareness. To practice walking meditation, find a quiet path where you can walk comfortably. Beginning. Walking meditation. Begin by standing still, taking a moment to be aware of your body and the environment. When you start walking, focus your attention on the movement of your legs and feet. Feel each step as you lift your foot, move it forward and place it down. The key is to walk as naturally as possible, synchronizing your breathing with your steps if you find it helpful. As you walk, maintain a slower pace than usual to allow ample time to observe each movement and sensation. Feel the contact of your feet with the ground, the shift of your weight, and the textures and temperatures touching your skin. Each step becomes an opportunity to be fully present, engaging with the here and now. Benefits of Walking Meditation One of the most significant benefits of walking meditation is its ability to help practitioners observe the flow of thoughts without getting attached to them. As they walk, thoughts will naturally arise. The practice involves noticing these thoughts as they come, acknowledging their presence, and then gently returning your focus to the physical sensations of walking. This process allows you to cultivate a sense of detachment from your thoughts, fostering mental clarity and inner peace. Walking meditation trains the mind to stay present and not get swept away by the stream of consciousness. It offers a unique blend of physical and mental benefits. Physically, it promotes relaxation, improves circulation, and enhances overall well-being. Mentally, it helps develop concentration, mindfulness, and a greater awareness of one's thoughts and emotions. By engaging both the body and mind, walking meditation can be a grounding practice, especially useful for those dealing with anxiety or restlessness. In essence, walking meditation enriches the practice of mindfulness by incorporating the body's movements and grounding the mind in the physical world. This connection creates a robust framework for dealing with the impermanence of thoughts and emotions, making it a valuable tool in the journey toward inner peace and mental clarity. Lesson 7. Koan Practice 
Lesson 7 introduces the practice of koan study, a distinctive and profound element of Zen Buddhism. A koan is essentially a paradoxical anecdote or riddle that challenges conventional thinking and is used as a tool for meditation. Its purpose is not to elicit a simple answer, but to cultivate deep insight and provoke a leap beyond ordinary consciousness toward enlightenment. Understanding koans. So, what is a koan? Koans are often composed of dialogues between Zen masters and their disciples, historical anecdotes, or paradoxical statements deliberately illogical or contradictory, designed to break down rational thought. The famous koan, what is the sound of one hand clapping, is an example of such questions that defy logical answers and are intended to exhaust the intellectual mind, pushing it to the limits of reasoning. Engaging with koans. Engaging with koans involves meditating on the question without seeking a rational answer. Instead, practitioners immerse themselves in the paradox, allowing it to challenge their understanding and deepen their insight into the nature of reality. Through this process, koans facilitate a shift in consciousness, moving beyond dualistic thinking toward a more intuitive understanding. Engaging with a koan involves deep contemplation, often requiring a practitioner to immerse themselves fully in the paradox presented. Unlike conventional problem-solving, the aim is not to find a solution through logic, but to transcend logic altogether. Practitioners may sit with a koan for extended periods, allowing it to penetrate their consciousness and reveal deeper insights about the nature of reality. Embracing the paradox, koan practice encourages practitioners to accept paradox and uncertainty, challenging their preconceived notions and expanding their understanding of existence. Through this process, practitioners develop a more intuitive and experiential understanding of Zen teachings, leading to profound spiritual growth and awakening. In summary, koan practice is a transformative journey that invites practitioners to explore the depths of their consciousness and confront the fundamental mysteries of existence. It serves as a powerful catalyst for spiritual awakening, offering a direct path to enlightenment beyond conceptual understanding. During meditation sessions, practitioners focus on the koan repeatedly. The process is not about finding an answer in the usual sense, but about transcending fixed patterns of thinking. As practitioners wrestle with a koan, they must let go of reliance on logic and step into a more intuitive mode of understanding. This shift is crucial because our typical thought patterns are linear and based on past knowledge and experiences. Koans disrupt these patterns, forcing the mind to abandon its standard frameworks and jump into a new way of seeing. The moment of breaking through a koan is often described as an opening of the mind, where a new level of understanding and sudden insight into the nature of existence is achieved. The practice of engaging with koans can significantly divert the mind from its usual ruminative patterns by challenging it to solve unsolvable puzzles. Koans help free it from the traps of overthinking and habitual reasoning. This freedom is not just about quieting the mind, but opening it to a broader, more expansive form of awareness that is crucial for spiritual growth in Zen Buddhism. Furthermore, Koan practice develops a unique resilience. The frustration and eventual breakthrough associated with koans train the mind to endure uncertainty and to thrive in the face of the unknown. This resilience translates into everyday life, enhancing one's ability to deal with complex problems and stressful situations with a fresh perspective. In summary, Koan practice is not just about intellectual exercise, it's a transformative spiritual practice that challenges and expands the very way we perceive reality. Through this practice, practitioners develop a deeper, more intuitive understanding of life, 
moving beyond the superficial layers of thought to a more profound level of insight. Lesson 8. Zen Ceremony. Tea Ceremony. Lesson 8 explores the Zen Ceremony, a traditional practice that embodies mindfulness and meditation through the simple and deliberate act of preparing and consuming tea. This ceremony, known as Chanoyu or Chado in Japanese, transcends the mere act of drinking tea. It is a spiritual ritual that emphasizes purity, harmony, respect, and tranquility. Basics of a traditional Zen tea ceremony. The tea ceremony is an orchestrated ritual where every movement and step is performed with precision and mindfulness. The preparation begins with the cleansing of the utensils in a prescribed manner, which signifies the purification of the heart and mind of both the host and the guests. The tea used is typically a powdered green tea called matcha, known for its vibrant color and health benefits. Participants sit on tatami mats in a tea room designed to enhance a connection with nature and simplicity. The room is often adorned with seasonal flowers and a hanging scroll, setting a tone of aesthetic and philosophical reflection. Meditative Aspects of the Tea Ceremony Every aspect of the tea ceremony is intentional, from the placement of the utensils to the way the tea is served and received. This deliberateness encourages participants to be fully present in the moment. The ceremony itself involves the methodical preparation of the tea by the host, including the warming of the bowls, the scooping of the tea, and the precise addition of water, followed by the subsequent whisking of the tea. Cultivating mindfulness and harmony, the tea ceremony serves as a powerful mindfulness practice, inviting participants to engage all their senses and cultivate a sense of inner peace and harmony. As individuals partake in each step of the ceremony with focused attention and reverence, they become attuned to the subtleties of the present moment. Through the ritual of tea preparation and consumption, participants are encouraged to let go of distractions and worries, immersing themselves fully in the experience. Conclusion in conclusion, the tea ceremony is more than just a cultural tradition. It is a profound meditation practice that fosters mindfulness, appreciation for nature, and a deeper connection with oneself and others. By embracing the principles of purity, harmony, respect, and tranquility, participants can find a moment of peace and reflection amidst the busyness of daily life. Zen Ceremony Tea Ceremony Participants in the Zen Ceremony, also known as the Tea Ceremony, can cultivate a heightened awareness of the present moment and experience a profound sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Engaging all senses, the sound of boiling water, the sight of steam, the aroma and taste of the tea, and the feel of the bowl in one's hands, the Tea Ceremony becomes a deeply meditative practice. The slow, deliberate actions required in the tea ceremony help focus the mind and calm wandering thoughts. Participants concentrate on each movement and step, finding little room for distractions, thus achieving a deep state of meditation. This repetitive nature of the action serves as a focal point, akin to the repetition of a mantra or the focused breathing in other forms of meditation. Additionally, the tea ceremony embodies the concept of Ichigo Ichii, a Japanese phrase meaning one time, one meeting. This concept underscores the uniqueness of each tea gathering, emphasizing mindfulness and appreciation of the present moment. It encourages a deeper connection with the experience itself and with others present. In summary, the Zen ceremony, particularly through the tea ceremony, transcends mere cultural tradition. It serves as a form of meditation that enhances mindfulness and presence. The meticulous and graceful practices not only calm the mind and focus thoughts, but also foster a deep appreciation for the transient beauty of life. This aligns with broader Buddhist teachings on mindfulness and the essence of each passing moment. Lesson 9. 
Compassion Meditation. Lesson 9 explores Compassion Meditation, a transformative practice within Buddhism focused on cultivating feelings of loving-kindness and compassion towards oneself and others. Known as Metta Bhavana in Sanskrit, this practice is central to developing a warm, accepting and empathetic heart. Steps of Compassion Meditation 1. Setting Find a comfortable and quiet place to sit, gently close the eyes and focus initially on the breath to calm the mind. 2. Generating feelings. Begin by generating feelings of kindness and compassion first towards oneself, then progressively extend these feelings towards others. 3. Phrases. Repeat silently phrases like, may I be happy, may I be safe, may I live with ease. Direct these sentiments towards someone loved, someone neutral, someone difficult, and finally towards all beings without exception. 4. Visualization. Visualize each person individually and cultivate a sincere wish for their happiness and relief from suffering. This visualization is a deliberate cultivation of an open and loving heart. Benefits of Compassion Meditation One of the significant benefits of Compassion Meditation is its ability to shift focus away from self-centered thoughts towards a more altruistic viewpoint. Self-focused thinking often dominates daily life, leading to negative cycles of thoughts and emotions that reinforce feelings of isolation and dissatisfaction. Regular practice of compassion meditation helps to extend feelings of kindness and empathy outward, naturally reducing the intensity and frequency of negative self-centered thoughts. This shift has profound implications for mental health and overall well-being. Engaging in compassionate thoughts changes how we perceive others and situations, fostering a greater sense of connection and shared humanity. Research indicates that increased compassion correlates with greater emotional positivity, leading to reduced levels of stress, anxiety and depression. Moreover, Meditation encourages a broader perspective on life and nurtures a deeper sense of empathy and understanding towards others. This inclusive view of well-being promotes resilience and a balanced outlook on life's challenges. Compassion meditation thus enhances not only the management of negative thoughts, but also the cultivation of positive emotions, contributing to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. In essence, compassion meditation serves as a powerful tool for mental transformation. By training the mind to focus on positive, altruistic qualities, it enhances personal and communal well-being. Cultivating a compassionate heart not only improves individual lives, but also contributes to creating a kinder, more empathetic world. Lesson 10. Detachment Exercises Lesson 10 explores detachment exercises, practical techniques rooted in Buddhism designed to help individuals practice detachment from thoughts and emotions, thereby reducing their influence over feelings and actions. These exercises cultivate a mental landscape where thoughts are observed without attachment, fostering a calm and centered state of mind. Simple detachment exercise Visualizing thoughts as leaves floating down a stream. 1. Setting. Find a quiet and comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. 2. Visualization. Close your eyes and imagine a serene, gently flowing stream in a peaceful environment. 3. Thoughts as leaves. Visualize each thought that arises as a leaf dropping onto the water's surface. 4. Observation. Observe these leaves. Thoughts as they enter your consciousness and float away downstream. 5. Avoid engagement. Instead of engaging with thoughts emotionally, simply notice them as they land on the stream and gently float away in return to the stream. Whenever you find yourself getting carried away by a thought or emotion, gently bring your attention back to the image of the stream and continue observing. Benefits of Detachment Exercises 
practicing detachment from thoughts and emotions offers several profound benefits. Reduced impact. Viewing thoughts as transient events like leaves floating away helps reduce their impact on our feelings and actions. Decreased reactivity. Detachment leads to decreased habitual reactivity towards thoughts and feelings, such as anger or anxiety. Enhanced clarity and stability. By reducing the interference of fluctuating thoughts and emotions, the mind finds a more peaceful and stable state. Insight and self-awareness. Detachment exercises provide insight into the nature of the mind and its patterns, essential for personal growth and self-awareness. Detachment exercises, such as visualizing thoughts as leaves on a stream, not only cultivate a peaceful mind, but also contribute to a more insightful and wise approach to living. These practices encourage a more mindful and serene engagement with the world, fostering resilience and equanimity. Lesson 11. Nature as a focus for meditation. Lesson 11 explores the enriching practice of using nature as a focal point for meditation. The natural world offers a profound backdrop for mindfulness practices, providing dynamic and grounding focal points such as trees, water and mountains. These elements draw the mind outward and help stabilize and deepen one's meditative experience, enhancing connection to the present moment. Using nature as a meditation focus, choose a natural element. Select a specific natural element that resonates personally, such as a tree, a body of water, or a mountain. Observation and sensory engagement. Observe the texture of bark, the color of leaves, the sound of rustling, or the movement of water. Engage all senses to anchor the mind and foster grounding. Enhanced benefits. Meditating in natural settings enhances sensory awareness, promotes deeper focus, and improves mood and overall well-being. Psychological benefits of nature meditation, stress reduction. Nature's beauty and tranquility reduce stress levels and improve mood. Perspective and awareness. Natural settings remind practitioners of life's vastness and the transient nature of worries fostering a broader perspective and deeper present moment awareness. In summary, using nature as a focal point for meditation enriches the practice by tapping into our innate connection with the natural world. This connection fosters mental clarity, emotional balance, and a profound presence that carries over into everyday life, enhancing our ability to remain present and engaged in each moment. Lesson 12. Embracing Silence. Lesson 12 emphasizes the profound value of silence in Zen practice, illustrating how cultivating periods of silence can quiet the mind and deepen spiritual awareness. In Zen, silence extends beyond the absence of sound. It is a powerful tool for introspection, discovering inner peace, and fostering deep reflection and mental clarity. Understanding Silence in Zen Introspection and Reflection Silence allows individuals to listen to their own thoughts and emotions without external distractions, facilitating deep introspection and insight. Connection to True Nature Silence reflects our true nature, untouched by external influences, providing a profound sense of peace and unity with the universe. Practical ways to incorporate silence. Silent meals. Designate one meal a day to be eaten in silence, focusing solely on eating mindfully and appreciating the quietness. Silent walks. Establish a routine of walking alone in silence, observing nature and disconnecting from digital distractions. Dedicated silent time. Carve out specific times each day for silence, using this time for meditation, reflection, or simply being present. Benefits of silence. Practice. Enhanced awareness. Silence heightens awareness of internal thoughts and emotions, promoting emotional regulation and reducing stress. Inner peace. 
regular silence practice fosters a deeper sense of peace, clarity, and connection to oneself and the world. Incorporating silence into daily routines is refreshing and transformative, offering opportunities for personal growth, self-discovery, and mental well-being. By embracing moments of silence, individuals can cultivate a calm and clear mind that positively influences their daily interactions and overall quality of life. Lesson 13. Journaling to Understand Thought Patterns Lesson 13 explores the practice of journaling as a powerful method for self-reflection and awareness. Journaling involves recording thoughts, feelings and experiences on paper, which helps individuals observe and understand their inner workings more effectively than mere introspection. Benefits of journaling, self-awareness, writing thoughts and emotions down makes them tangible, facilitating recognition of recurring patterns, themes and triggers. Emotional regulation. Regular journaling enhances emotional management by identifying and processing thoughts and feelings more effectively. Decision-making skills. Reflecting on past entries improves decision-making skills by analyzing outcomes and identifying effective strategies. Journaling is not just about documenting daily events. It's an introspective practice that deepens understanding of oneself, promotes emotional clarity, and enhances overall well-being. By engaging in regular journaling, individuals can gain insights into their mental and emotional processes, leading to greater self-awareness and personal growth. Lesson 14. Practice of Gratitude. Lesson 14 introduces the transformative practice of gratitude, particularly through maintaining a gratitude journal or engaging in daily gratitude reflections. Gratitude practice involves focusing on and appreciating positive aspects of life, shifting attention from negativity to abundance, practicing gratitude, gratitude, journaling, record moments, things, or people for which you are grateful daily, fostering a positive outlook and enhancing emotional well-being. Daily Gratitude Reflections Take a moment each day to reflect on and appreciate positive experiences or blessings, cultivating a mindset of abundance. Benefits of gratitude practice Neurological impact Gratitude rewires neural pathways to stimulate feelings of contentment and reduce anxiety, enhancing mood and overall happiness. Emotional regulation Focusing on gratitude reduces negative emotions and stress, promoting emotional resilience and well-being. Regular gratitude practice not only enhances mental health, but also cultivates a deeper appreciation for life's blessings and promotes a more positive outlook. By fostering gratitude, individuals can create a happier, more fulfilling life, rooted in appreciation and joy. In conclusion, these tips from Zen and Buddhist practices offer practical techniques for enhancing mindfulness, achieving inner peace, and cultivating emotional well-being. Whether through detachment exercises, nature meditation, embracing silence, journaling, or practicing gratitude, each tip provides a pathway to greater self-awareness, resilience, and a more mindful engagement with life.